Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Have Number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Leos watching. So if you have Leo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this reading, this message might resonate or apply to you. So Leo, this will be a general love tarot reading. I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. Perhaps this energy is already in your life currently. But before I do get into your reading, Leo, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the sign of Leo. So it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Leo, so let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's check in on the energy that we do have coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few cards for Leo? Who's coming towards Leo? And what energy is this person bringing towards Leo, please? Okay, so first card that did come out, Nine of Pentacles. Can we please get a few more cards for Leo regarding this person and the energy that, that they're bringing in regards to love? Page of Cups. Can we please get a few more cards regarding the Nine of Pentacles and also the Page of Cups energy for Leo? The Chariot as well. All right, let's go ahead and get one more card, please, for Leo. What other energy is this person bringing towards Leo? We Will of Fortune as well. All right, Leo. So first three cards we have, Nine of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, also the Chariot came out. We also have the Will of Fortune. So Leo. I feel like this is a person, could be a person you're dealing with currently or someone who's coming towards you, but I feel like they love what you two have going on. They feel like they can trust it, what you two are building between one another. You and this person may have been getting to know each other over time. And of course, or maybe you, Leo, you had the intention that you wanted something more with this person, but I feel like you didn't stress. You didn't stress. The motive for knowing this person to be a connection or at least they didn't maybe that's a mutual energy but because you two didn't put a lot of pressure on labeling things and letting things grow naturally with the nine of pentacles it just makes knowing you and this connection so much better and this that feeling hit even harder because things happen naturally genuinely over time not forcing this connection it just happened to grow on its own the connection happened to grow on its own with the nine of pentacles leo so i feel like this is an energy for you and your connection just harvesting this connection in the way that you two are both putting an effort towards this connection and seeing how it grows um being patient but sometimes being patient feels like less time has passed because you're still occupying your mind with good thoughts and enjoying things as they take its course. So being very appreciative, this person, you Leo, being very appreciative of what you have between you two, but also admiring it more because it just happened over time. Um, you and this person may have spent or may spend a lot of quality time with one another, Leo. And with the energy that's felt, maybe it hasn't been expressed through words yet, but you could feel that, that emotion through this person's actions and they feel it through your actions, Leo. So we have the Page of Cups and the Chariot. I feel like this person has been absorbing your energy, taking in who you are noticing you, gathering all these positive qualities about you, Leo. And with that, they've accumulated them to be like, Leo is the one that I wanna to go towards. And 
once I go towards Leo, it's going to be right because I have prepared myself. I have really sat with my, I've spent time with Leo. I've gotten to know Leo as a person and there's nothing in my mind holding me back from knowing that Leo is right for me. So we have the chariot. I feel like this is this person coming towards you. No hesitation, feeling confident, feeling motivated. Um, and they feel sure about you because they've gotten to know who you are as a person, maybe a friend before a lover. And when people take the time to do that, they see who we really are because they're not looking for just one thing or a few specific things. It's more than just physical. It includes all parts of romance. So like mind, body, soul. Capricorn also had the chariot come out. Also the Wheel of Fortune as well. So you might be dealing with the Capricorn placement. It does not have to resonate. Page of Cups, they want to give you their emotion. Leo, they want to express to you. Maybe they, they're they ready to. Um, but if anything, they it would be even better if your, your feelings matched the same or how you feel about them was mutual. Um, so I feel like this person, they're not going to be shy about offering you this, this page of cups, but they also want to be respectful about it. So they might not lay it on too heavy, but they're going to let you know how they feel if it hasn't come out yet through their words. Also, um, understanding how you feel, wanting to know that that feeling is mutual. So really maybe sparking a conversation with you, Leo, about their emotions and their feelings towards you <clears throat> and expecting or hoping that you fill in the blanks because they'll know that the feeling is confirmed. So them starting the conversation and then you, you feeding into it and hopefully with that same energy that they're bringing. Will of Fortune, Leo, um, yeah, the everything is in your favor with this connection fixed energy this person had a plan all along we have aquarius scorpio leo and taurus this person had a plan all along it was just time for them to make that move with you with the chariot so coming towards you and expressing their feelings hoping that the feeling is mutual and they're hoping luck is on their side with how you feel but I feel like also with this connect or with this card coming out, it's it's like if there's any doubts, if there's any hesitation from you or this person, Leo, and you just followed your heart, then you would be happy. All right, let's go ahead and get a few more cards. How else does this person feel towards Leo, please? What other energy is this person bringing towards Leo? And what do they want for Leo to know, please? We have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Can we please get a few more cards regarding this energy and the Five of Pentacles? What does Leo need to know about the Five of Pentacles, please? We have the Two of Swords. All right. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards regarding the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Swords for Leo. as well okay leo let's go ahead and get one more card please regarding this energy that we do have we have the five of pentacles two of swords in the tower what could this energy be about we also have the death card as well all right leo so a change in energy here we have five of pentacles two of swords that came out we also have death or the tower card and the death card. So Leo, um, I just wanna remind you all, please only take what resonates for yourself. I might be describing multiple energies here. Um, so Leo, I feel like with this person, maybe there was a tower moment that happened in the middle of this energy. Um, somebody may have may have portrayed these feelings towards you but at the same time 
they weren't as clear as the energy I described with the two of swords like they knew in their heart that you were perhaps the one that they wanted to go towards but at the same time they were perhaps not being the most transparent with what they were really what with what they really had going on behind the scenes two of swords so somebody having two choices here this could be your person this could be you leo um i feel like if that energy does resonate with you leo you were caught off guard you were blindsided because it's like you were building all this emotion with this person as soon as they maybe started to express their emotions to you verbally or vocally or letting it be known this is why they maybe started off small leo page of cups it was because they had not the most solid energy it's like you were building something with this person um and then they had something something else someone else on the side they had two different options here um, and they may have neglected their intuition or neglected how they really felt. Um, and of course, that's that's their actions. That's what they chose to do. Um, but I will say sometimes people, for whatever reason, they know in their heart what they want to do or what they should do. But I'll, more of what they want to do, what feels right to them, but they still choose something else because of a different gain or a different obligation. Um, so somewhere in this connection, Leo, this person may have um, maybe distanced themselves or no communication, tower moment happened here. You may have found out about these two options, whether it be a person or something else in the middle of this connection or after, after this person distanced themselves because then we have the tower and the death card. I feel like everything that you thought you were building with this person, it it went to ruin, like the tower moment, also death card. So with the tower moment happening, it's like all these emotions that you have for this person, it just went nowhere. It, it may be, it, it may be really hurt you, Leo, because you were loving this person you are openly like feeling for this person but then a tower moment happens where five of pentacles you felt like they left you in the cold roles could be reversed leo any any part of this reading that i'm describing but they left you in the cold like they didn't care for you and when that energy took place it was like what were you really trying to build with me if you're just going to leave me like this. And then with the death card here, Scorpio energy. It's like, maybe you knew Leo this couldn't be reconciled. Nothing else could come from it because of this deception. Um, that you just had it, that you just had to start, start over for yourself without this person. We do have the Wheel of Fortune as well. Um, that could also be you, Leo. Just when things got rough. Things took a turn of, yeah, things took a turn or things changed. But let's go ahead and get a few more cards. What else does Leo need to know in regards to love and the energy coming towards them? Please. Ten of Wands came out. Can we please get a few more cards regarding the Ten of Wands and the rest of the energy that we do have for Leo? What else? Who else is coming towards them in regards to love? Strength card, Leo energy. All right, let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Leo regarding this energy that we do have. the high priestess all right let's go ahead and get one more card for leo please the devil all right let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck we have eight of swords the magician leo king of wands as well 
Knight of Wands. So, Leo, I do feel like this might be a person from the past, a person you did have a, a ending with. Um, I feel like they were, like, anything that they made you feel about yourself or maybe that they told you, that remains the same. Their feelings were true, but I feel like you might have been dealing with somebody who is somewhat manipulative or a liar, somebody who told white lies that amounted to something greater. I feel like it caused heartbreak for you, Leo. Um, and it may have been hard to move on from this person, but you knew what they showed you or what they hid from you. It, it went to show more of who they are as a person. And that was maybe something that you knew you didn't deserve, so you had no choice for yourself or your own self-love strength card here to move forward ten of wands just releasing this energy something that was so good but also in reality so bad for you i feel like you leo if this person distanced themselves after this tower you distanced yourself as well i hate priestess you maybe stayed low for a while like sheltered yourself in really like fed into your intuition um, because maybe that was yourself was the only person you had to rely on, on the, at the time, the high priestess, gathering things, maybe also with the two of swords, this person maybe showed parts of themselves that sparked your intuition and made you look into things further. The devil card, powerful connection here, Leo, but you knew that Capricorn energy as well. You knew that being connected or being with this person wouldn't bring you to any good. It was more intoxicating, but not not in the best way for you, Leo. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. For some of my Leos out there, maybe you knew the truth with your intuition, but you, you refused to believe it. The Magician is for you, Leo, but we also have King of Wands. Sometimes when this card comes out, I feel like it's a person who's very impulsive. They want what they want. They don't think about their actions. Knight of Wands, this person, once again, impulsive. Maybe they are the type to resurface. But with you respecting yourself, Leo, the strength card, holding strong, just remember you're the magician. You can make anything happen for yourself. And maybe this was just of course, not something you wanted to go through, but something that made you stronger because this may have been the love that you've always wanted, but not really if this person showed you what they showed you. So it's like people are out there who will give you the love that you always wanted and desired, but there are snakes in disguise and there are better people who wouldn't put you through that type of hurt. This person may have, they could have just lied to you, Leo, and that hurt you. But as far as vocalizing like negativity towards you, they didn't do that. So like, say if they come to reconcile or try to work things out with you, they somehow make another excuse. Like, I, I lied to you because of this reason, because I didn't want you to think this of me, but just remember leo to respect yourself um let's see let's go ahead and get some extra messages for leo please what else does leo need to know about this energy we have envy i am the same as everybody but with different challenges this person's true colors may have showed you that I don't want to say they were jealous of you or envious of you, but they want what they couldn't have. And that may have been due to something they were tied down to also with the devil energy. Like you were the, you're the type of love that they would like to deal with, but something in their life changed. So they like, like a transformation happened like this person has some toxic energy leo so let's go ahead and get a few more cards for leo let's see what we have denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the inside of awareness 
with the tower moment and also the death card maybe it was hard to believe leo and out of comfort you wanted this person but you replaced it with your intuition the high priestess the awareness you didn't deserve that let's go ahead and get one more card please for leo all right last card we have self-esteem i possess gifts of the soul and benefit me and others that strength card came out for you leo so you your self-esteem your confidence you you have it leo and you have it enough not to maybe resonate with this energy or accept it for yourself if that's what you're doing can we please get a roll for leo or a sign for leo please send Minerva and venus taurus came out Let's go ahead and get another sign for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aries. Let's go ahead and get one more sign for Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo. And we'll get one more sign, please, for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And Leo. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.